Hey YouTube, this is American Samurai back again with another Golden Age review. Today we're talking about Volume 1, Finding Neat Treasury Volume 1 Reader's Collection. Bruce Carter was sent on a special mission by George Washington, but captured and killed by the British during the Revolutionary War. Because of his failure caused information to fall into enemy hands, Carter's spirit was confined to Earth. Generations later, Bruce Carter III is visited by the ghost, who directs Carter to locate his cloak and tricornered hat. This hat gives Carter invincibility and super strength. From that moment forward, Bruce Carter secretly fights as the Fighting Yank, occasionally aided by his <clears throat> long-gone ancestor. Fighting Yank appears in Starling Comics, America's Best Comics, and his own comic title, we got a giant selection of his stories for your tremendous high quality in this for your tremendous high quality collection. What you expect from Ganahad Comics? I don't know how to pronounce that name. Um, okay, there's some misnomers here. First of all, the Fighting Yank does not get his power from the hat; it's the cape. Anyone who's read Project Two Powers and even the comics himself, it's the cape, not the hat. I think somebody who typed that must have not been familiar with the character. Um, the spot about his ancestor being, uh, coming to help him is true, but he pretty much comes to help him in every comic. That's part of his gimmick. Um, while he does have his powers with his cape, he does not always have his cape. Sometimes he gets stolen from him. Uh, but when his ancestor shows up, he can actually increase the Fighting Ink's powers, and actually by holding, by carrying him, the Fighting Ink gains the ability of flight. But only for a limited time. So the ghost has to be there. And brute, um, the Fighting Yank can't actually summon his ancestor. He just shows up whenever he's in his most dire situation. Um, but overall, I enjoyed this uh, collection a lot more than I did the, Madam, the Masquerade collection I did a while back. Well, first of all, the Fighting Yank, even though he's fighting Nazis, actually does fight supervillains. I don't know if that's because he has powers and Miss Masquerade didn't. I don't know. Um, the nice twist is that his girlfriend Joan actually knows he's the fighting yank so you don't have that whole trope of the love triangle thing she knows Bruce Carter III is the fighting yank and vice versa that's a nice twist of it um, the stories themselves are really well done I think especially for Golden Age you just you know but you're stand on this one. The villain he fights is called the Gremlin. Of course, you see Bruce Carter's ancestor right there. He comes and helps him sometimes. But yeah, overall, I enjoy this book. I get a five out of five. If you guys have only read the Fighting Yanks appearance in the Project Superpower series by Dynamite Comics, I definitely recommend checking this out, especially if you're curious about his Golden Age appearances. And if you guys want to know more about Project Two Powers, check out the Project Samurai playlist. I pretty much put every video I've done up to date that involved the characters from that series. I reviewed a couple of the mini series. Well, I reviewed one of the mini series. At some point, I will look into, at the main series too. So until next time, this is the American Samurai saying, "Stay safe and bye, bonds, everybody."